Christmas is orchids. Lots and lots and lots of orchids and orchid related stuff. So let us talk about that today, shall we? Yes, friends, it is the Christmas Eve. And for those of you who are celebrating, let me start off by saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, wherever you are, whatever you are celebrating, even if you're not celebrating, I hope you have a wonderful time in general. And I wanna thank those of you who left me Merry Christmas comments already. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, hope you all have a great time and you receive lots of nice things, if that's what you do. And because we're talking about receiving, let me tell you what my Christmas wish contains. Pretty much what I intend to do from now on or um, during the next year, actually. It's sort of a New Year's resolution slash Christmas wish list, something. So yes, I do want orchids. I do have some orchids on my wish list that are there for quite a while and some of them that are new. So let's name a few. I absolutely do want to have in my collection a Phalaenopsis, that's an intriguing start, right? A Phalaenopsis pulcherima, or actually it's a Doritis pulcherima yellow, the Peloric version. This is something that I've known for a lot of time, a lot of years actually, and though it's interested me, I never found it for sale, or if I did, uh, you know, there was always something else, but now I really wanna have it, I really wanna have a Doritis in my collection, because it is slightly different than a Phalaenopsis, although I think it has already been reclassified as Phalaenopsis, they're not very different care-wise, but they look a little different, they have a little bit of a different pattern, so it would be wonderful to have it in my collection, and she's on my wish list. Another thing that I do want to have, and I actually have something of the sorts, I have a David Sander, Brassavola David Sander, however there is a Brassavola, I think it's called Yaki Black, and it's not W-U-C-K, it's W-A-K, I think that's how you spell it. So Yaki Black, I think it's the name, it's a purple Brassavola looking flower, how about that? I just want to have that one. I don't think it's a rare orchid, I think I will be actually able to find it if I search I do want to try out Germany again, Schwerter again, who knows, maybe stuff are better, but in the spring, not now, they don't deliver now. Um, so the first thing that I will get from Germany, probably it's going to be the Yaki Black or something similar if I find. I really want to have purple Brassavola type of orchid. And speaking about cat layout families, I have a cat layout that it's sitting on my wish list forever and ever and ever and I feel that I'll never have it. It's the chocolate drop, but I kind of made my peace with that one. I don't think I'll ever have it, but you know, it's still on my wish list for four years already. <laughs> it's the first cat layout I ever wanted, to be fairly honest, the chocolate drop. I don't know, I really like the color. And I think it's uh, more spread in the USA than in Europe. I've never seen it for sale in Europe up until now, but who knows, she's still there. There is, however, another uh, cat layout type that I really want and I don't remember remember the name. I saw it in a video of Wade. He was talking about the BC Maikai, which I have. Let me just show you the BC Maikai since we're here. Dun, dun, dun. That's my BC Maikai. He will bloom very soon. And surprise, surprise, he has some buds on an older cane as well. That never happens with Catlias. They never bloom from old canes, but there we go. What is the name of the other Catlia? It's a red type of Catlia. Um, hmm. I'll look on Wade's video and I will share the video down below in the description as well because it's a wonderful video. Wade makes really, really astonishing videos. He has great orchids. So I'll just put the name of the orchid on the screen. I want that orchid. And to be fairly, fairly, fairly honest, that's about all I want. And this is because I already crossed out of my wish list a lot of orchids this year. With the help of my viewers, thank you guys so, so, so incredibly much. I have the Sanderiana, I have the Denisoniana. I have a lot of things that were always on my wish list and I owe it all to you, so thank you guys so, 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 so very much. And speaking about sending orchids, I wanna start doing something next year in the spring. It's already very cold uh, right now across Europe, even though here it's not. But I wanna start doing a sort of sort of giveaways but it's not gonna be like advertised as a giveaway i want to start just making a corner of the greenhouse dedicated to orchids that i'm gonna send away um to you guys this is something i always feared to do i've actually received quite a lot of angry comments on this why don't i ever give away orchids i mean you know i have so many i'm just such a mean person 
The truth of the matter is that I never actually had the courage to send my own orchids. And for those of you who know my history, I had so many pests and diseases and stuff affecting my collection that I just knew somebody would just react very bad to that. No matter how much I would tell them, quarantine this orchid and all of that, somebody, especially an orchid beginner, would just get so excited about an orchid, introduce it to their collection and spread all sorts of bad stuff. So I never had courage to do that. All I did was a swap with Ana Maria two years ago and I sent Rachel again some orchids. A few people that I trusted were not beginners. And I know many of you asked me if I sell orchids because I could very well sell orchids. And some of us here on YouTube already sell orchids. I don't sell orchids. I will never sell orchids. Very same reason. I am afraid about the outcome. See, I have the guilt. I could never be a salesperson, honestly. I could never have a store of my own. Maybe I should never say never, but right now I don't see myself investing my energy into a store simply because I cannot handle it. I'm, I cannot. Unhappy customers, unhappy people because of me and the stuff that I, you know, asked money for. That's why my content is always free. It might just be some of my unfunded fears. Um, so maybe I'm underestimating people. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I will make a sort of a section of my greenhouse with divisions or with things that I want to give away. I've already thought about it and I already have quite a few candidates. I have a few surprises. I divided my Ida Locusta and it started to sprout a new growth. Uh, what else? I think I have, well, I have my twinkles, you know, my twinkles. Anyway, you'll see. I have a few orchids, a few divisions that I put aside. Next up, I will be renovating my greenhouse. Not renovating, but changing it a little bit. 2017 was quite the challenging year for me, both off camera and a little bit on camera with the whole medium situation. I finally kind of calmed myself with how I will be growing my orchids. I finally found something that I can make work. It's not perfect. I still need to work on stuff to work, but it's good. Uh, it works okay and I think I finally can focus on other stuff rather than how healthy are my orchids? How are they doing? Uh, also the stress of moving out, which yeah, it took a while. It took two years for some orchids to just bounce back. There are still a few orchids that are struggling and I'm not sure if they will ever bounce back. I'm seriously considering just changing them because I've put them through too much stress. But overall, uh, generally things are going finally okay. They are over the shock of moving out, uh, changing countries, changing mediums and having issues and having burns on their roots and so on. We're kind of over that. So because I calmed down with this, I also calmed down um, in my like private life a little bit. The whole getting over smoking is done. I'm perfectly fine now. And on the 25th, tomorrow, uh, I will be five months not a smoker anymore, and I'm very proud of that, I have to say. And plus other things, um, I really hope they will be calmer in 2018. They certainly look that way, and I hope I will have more time to invest in other stuff, such as redoing this greenhouse, which has been left a little bit, you know, it has been ignored. I want to do a few more places, filming places, uh, with studio light, artificial light. I will invest in something of the sorts. I want to improve my video quality. We were thinking about a new camera camera, but those stuff are a little bit too expensive and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that in 2018, but I can certainly improve a little bit the greenhouse and the filming spaces. I'm thinking to get some furniture that will, um, let's say, better resonate with my style because I do have a style. I don't have a very, very developed fashion style or anything, but I do like to have around me things that are chic, decoration-wise, home decoration-wise. Uh, not necessarily vintage, but more of a retro chic type of vibe. I like whites, I like muted colors. My boyfriend is totally the opposite. He likes very, very modern stuff, very bright colors. I go for a warm white light or amber light. He goes for cold light sometimes or colored light and so on. So we're totally opposites. And the house, I can see how a more retro vintage style, it's harder to digest rather than a more minimalistic modern style. So our apartment is more of a modern type of apartment and I don't have like the freedom to put my, my myself in it. But I do have the greenhouse, which, you know, I will not bother anybody if I do it like I want it to look like. So I do want to invest time and some energy into uh, making this greenhouse look a little bit better, elevate a little bit the content as well with some better imagery and so on. So that's a plan for 2018. I hope I can do it. Anyway, it's on my Christmas wish list, you know, Santa, please give me the power, strength and money to do that. So I think that's about it, you guys. Um, 
those are my goals and plans for 2018 i will be posting videos um, until new year as well but i think tomorrow i will take a break there are some family visits we need to attend to some you know the usual stuff i'm not entirely sure how much time i will have to film but don't worry we won't take a lot of break we'll be back in no time and i have quite the exciting new footage for you guys so thank you so much for watching and listening to me thank you guys so much for sticking around for sending me um orchids for sending me letters for sending me comments and your thoughts and so on and uh yeah i hope i can deliver as well both with videos with information with all of that and with the new section the donation orchids that i i hope i will be able to properly do and with uh, you know the other goals that i have and let me know down below what are your goals and even your christmas list for this year i would be very curious to read your comments and see what you guys want for christmas or what are your new year's resolutions let's say it's a little early for that but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you have wonderful holidays merry christmas have a great time i'll see you all in a few days <laughs> bye